Greetings everybody, Okami Games Online. Welcome back to more Persona 5. Last time. We returned back to the real world and continue to live out our daily lives. And this episode, well, it should be obvious what we're doing. We're continuing to live our daily life. So let's go on up here. Customers away. All oh, stuff we've already seen. We want some fruity. Hmm. Go ahead and up our charm. Hey. Up our knowledge. Up our everything. That would be too much to ask for, though. Want to head back? And back here. Rain, huh? And by Sojuro. Because today, we would also. Today's basically going to be upping our social stats today. Town over here. Okay. Because we're going to go ahead and try to up our charm even more. At the rate we're going, though, charm might be the first social stat. Well, not the first, but the next social stat we get to level 4. Charm might. Yep, yep. Basically, our charm can increase, but it might increase guts. So let's go for a longer bath. Oh. And... Ooh! Remember how I was saying charm might be the first, the uh, next social stat we get to rank four? I was not kidding. All right. Want to head back? So now we've got rank 4 charm. What we can do with this? Eh, I'll find something. And who's calling us at this hour? Oh, Mishima. I'll go Harajuku. As the admin of the fan site, I want to find out what society is thinking. There should be a lot of people there since it's summer vacation. It'd be perfect for a survey. You should come with me tomorrow. I'll decline slightly. Oh? I guess you're busy too, huh? I have plans. Do not worry about that, Morgana. I always have plans. I've got a schedule if I just turn my head 90 degrees to my right. Oh, look, there's my schedule telling me what I have to do on each day. That's a little bit of breaking the fourth wall. That's enough breaking the fourth wall for one day, though. What? to see my face? It's actually something I think I should tell you, but I can't make up my mind. We'll respond to that later. <laughs> I'm extra proud of today's curry. You better savor it. Hey, hey! We, we will, Morgana. Chill, just chill, cat. I know you don't like being called a cat. Hey! All right. Well, first of all, TV. So which of these counts as a larceny? Taking money from a lost wallet or a joyride will return the car. Probably joyride, I would guess. Yeah, joyride. Saying you plan on returning it just won't fly in court. Consume gas and wear down the tires. Driving someone's car without permission is larceny. larceny. Taking someone that something that someone lost or dropped is theft by finding a much lighter crime. Incidentally, the phantom thieves steal parts, but unfortunately, that doesn't count as larceny. And give us that knowledge boost. All right. All right, now we've done th that, which we need to do. I gotta get back to buying personas, though. So let's head to the Velvet Room. Hey, inmate! 
you back to the prison, we will hurry back. It's not like you gotta kick us in there or anything. Because I want to buy I'll go. a Persona. You don't say like me. To read the read here. You came to the Velvet Room to buy a Persona. We want to buy... This persona, just, are just you buying a fool? me. Are you a fool? Or I this could be a fool. Is already with I forgot you. I already had a Mandrake with me. No Basically, we need a death persona. This is why I pay attention to my personas. Learn from my example. Okay, so that message. Let's head over immediately. Hello. Don't pass out, okay? In order to prevent heat stroke, you have to stay hydrated. But you don't seem too concerned about it. You came because you saw my messages, right? Of course. Sorry, I'm gonna pass on it today. Takumi's depressed. But our overflowing charm melts Takumi's stubborn heart. I need to talk to you. Since this might be the last time. Let's hang out with Ty. Please head to the exam room. Hey. I'm thinking of resigning. Several of my suppliers have stated that they're going to stop selling to me. I can't get my hands on medical supplies. I won't be able to get what I need to complete the new medicine. They're probably being pressured by Oyamata to stop doing business with me, so I figure it's over. What about Miwa-chan? It's fine. I confirmed with the hospital Miwa-chan was being treated at. Oyamata was telling the truth. Mia Chung was apparently smiling until the very end. She probably didn't want to worry anyone. I wish I could have cured her. All I didn't want fame or money. All I wanted was to keep her smiling. This isn't just about her though. I was going to help every single person who was suffering from that disease. I was a sickly child when I was young, too. I was always in the hospital and was rarely well enough to attend school at all. Medicine was all that kept me alive. That's why I wanted to become a doctor. So I could save people, just like I was saved. <sighs> but I guess this is where it ends. The medical industry is a business, after all, and the chief decides what's best for it. I'm all out of allies. I'm your ally, though. I see. Yeah, you're right. You might just be my one and only. I really appreciate everything you've done. <laughs> My practice increased thanks to your no noisiness, and in the end, I felt like a real doctor again. So, thank you. And your patients? There are plenty of other small town doctors. This is where it ends. Although it frustrates me. can't do clinical trials anymore, so you can go home. Thanks. Thanks again for all your help, and good luck on those entrance exams. Is there anything I can do for Takami? Bye. Tell me about him. We're gonna do something. What are you trying to do? You mean Oyamata? Why? I hope you're not planning to get revenge for me. I won't do anything. He's such a weird kid. His full name is Soichi Oyamata. 
he's a very influential chief of staff in the world of medicine. Is that all? I need to do something about the target for Takami. Bad medicine. Take care. That adds another request we're going to need to do. Man, it's hot. Sorry, I'm just reading stuff. I need to be more attentive. I found that to be a character flaw of myself. I'm, I can always get distracted with something else. But I'm going to uh, go ahead and future-proof myself by heading to the Velvet Room. Because, finished, well, let me time, first make sure. Fusion. Okay, I don't already have a Persona the Arcana I'm looking for. Now. You'd like to read here. Because we want to buy, and you're going to want to buy this now. You're going to want to buy yourself this an Emperor you Persona. Is required. This is your power. Because if you Done don't already. do that later, well, it's fine if you do it later, no but off. doing it now is going to be really advantageous to you. But anyway, for today, let's spend some more time with Chihaya. You're going to shrivel up. It's so hot today. I placed my shop on the street so I can see people walking by, but I'm about to melt. Well then, what would you like to do today? Another verification test, of course. There's something I'd like to, t to talk about. The ADB case is more complicated than I thought. <sighs> What am I going to do? Let's hang out with Chihaya. See what's going on. So the chairman's pushing me as hard as ever to sell those fake stones. I've been trying to use this as an opportunity to investigate into the ADP seminar so I can expose them. But the deeper I dig, the scarier everything becomes. How so? Um... The ADP apparently doesn't profit at all from the sales of the Holy Stones. It's nothing more than a front. Most of the revenue actually comes from the seminars. There, they give their patrons some sort of mind-altering drug. After which, they're encouraged to donate their life savings to the benefit of the ADP. People have even gone missing after seminars. Families have been torn apart by this madness. <sighs> and I... I was a part of it all. By selling these fraudulent stones, I was in direct support of their horrible actions. I know this doesn't make up for what I've done, but I want to help the others come to their senses. Barely anyone within the ADP will talk to me, though, and those who do won't actually hear me out. What should I do, Karusa san These people are all getting heading down a path toward great ruin. <laughs> there has to be some way I can deal with the chairman. Right. I'll just have to admit to everything that's been going on, even if I get dragged down too. That's the only way. It looks like Chihaya is not sure how to approach this issue. She might do something rash at this rate. I should take care of the chairman before that happens. Mm. I'm the only one who can stop him, right? Tell me his name. Mm. Oh, the chairman? It's Yuichi Fukurei. Um. Why do you ask? Don't worry about it too much. <sighs> oh. Hmm. How strange. It seems the cards have changed somehow. My future is in line with that of the trickster. What does that mean? Even so, my fate remains unchanged. I am destined to stay a monster. Um... Debunking the psychic. I'll have to finish... I'll have to think on this for a while. What's finished for today? 
Good night. Good night, Chihaya. We've got not one, but two quests that seem to relate to our confidants. And who's calling at this hour? It's Yusuke. Here's a movie I want to see. It's called Mes Miserable, a remake of the classic. Apparently, it came out this summer. I want just one day off from this Futaba business. Care to join me? Let's commit to it. Thank you. Then let's meet in front of the theater in Shibuya. Yusuke's movie choice seems rather promising. Yeah, let's go, Baz. So this is why I decided to buy an Emperor Persona in advance. Sorry. My apologies. I got off the train one station early to save money, but it must have made me late. Saved a little bit of money. Wish I could do that. It was him! He stole the silverware! He even stole the candlesticks! Thief! Confess your crime! Oh! Is there no God in this world? That bishop guy is too much. He should cut the other guy some slack. Learn more how to compassionate with others. These are some more t points towards, towards kindness. All right. <laughs> the amount of artistry and effort they put into the stage set—it's truly astounding. Oh, forgive me. I can't help but focus more on visual aspects than on that storyline. I don't mind. Indeed. Thanks. Well, I already understand that you're not the type to feel offended by such matters. I'm in your debt. Thank you for today. The time we spent together felt worthwhile. Well then, let's head home. I agree. It's false justice. Uh, again? Yeah. Another corporate scandal? Haven't there been a lot of those lately? What is Medjit doing? It's hard to tell when they aren't making any moves. The Phantom Thieves have kept their silence too. Is our country gonna be done for when the deadline comes? Ah, you're back. Who knows? Just me, or has there been a ton of info leaks lately? It's not measured, right? I think they'd make it into a m much more theatrical occasion. You're right, they didn't make any declarations or anything. Still, it's quite a headache. The hate we're getting online is insane, too. People are treating us like this is all our fault. They may denounce us if we don't hurry and take care of this. Has anyone come up with a plan for solving the problem? Not yet. Well, I'm gonna keep trying. We have to do whatever we can. Either way, simply relying on Futaba will not do. Well, if we run out of options, that may might be our only choice. Alright, it is the fifth, which means well first. News, huh? We will decide that later. Do you hear those cries of joy? I'm talking about the sudden burst of posts we just got on our fan site. Must be because of how popular the Phantom Thieves are. Good for them. Right? Wait, why are you talking about like you're not involved? Anyway, let me tell you about the most interesting thing I've found so far. Indiscriminate acts of violence in Shibuya. Pretty scary, huh? I can't find much more than that, though. All the posts mention rumors they heard in the underground mall in Shibuya, but nothing else. It's not super reliable. 
It'd be good if we could find out more about those rumors, but my presence is limited to the web. You might want to try and learn more on your own if you're interested. Hmm. Folks the underground mall as a store employee, huh? Well, that's another request. We're gonna have a lot of requests to deal with when we go into the Mentos. All right. Let's head over to Shinjuku. And I'm gonna do a little bit more future proofing. That's a weird way to put it. But it's just what I'm gonna do. I'll go. Alright, first. The Let's execute. Do we have any shoes? No, I need to buy back both you of the your minds that we need. Just so let's... Steam. You read here. We're gonna wanna summon two different arcana. First, we're gonna want a temperance persona. This you'll withdraw this for this is your power. Second, a devil persona. You'll withdraw this this is your power. Such rude. Done already. We also are running very low on money. No slacking off. Well, let's go ahead and well, hang, let's hang out with Oya. I had to buy a double persona, so you can imagine that's. Well, I guess I did buy a temperance persona, but if I was gonna hang out with Kawakami, I would have just bought the temperance persona uh, in uh, Shibuya. Anyway, hello, Oya. Hey. Oh, there you are. I was wondering where my informant had gone to. Isn't it warm out? Speaking of which, the public's starting to warm up to the Phantom Thieves, your favorites. Well, you've got info, all right. Our bond won't deepen yet, but that's just fine. Then take a seat. We gave our info, now our bond will become stronger soon. Well then. Bye, oh yeah. This is going to be a good stopping point. Next time on Persona 5, we're finally sending out the calling card. Sometime during the episode. Can't say it'll be immediately. See you guys then.